you're too good. Snapback Journey Radio. Snapback Journey Radio. Snapback Journey Radio. Snapback Journey Radio. Presented by Yo Checka TV. With healthy conversations. I, cause I, cause in the course, there are a lot of hey, points. Yo Checka. Where you make a point, like, on, like, different strategies on how to connect with people in um, these multi- media platforms you know like all these social media platforms how exactly you do it there's so many different strategies and they work we what are what the first question was what are your favorite social strategies for networking to use to grow your network um probably my favorite thing to do is like this type of stuff because so much of what I do is education because there are so many misconceptions out there about finances and um, we don't know what we don't know and all of that stuff. So I love having conversations like this and like people being able to listen in and having just those authentic uh, conversations. Um, and then of course I'm working with my clients via Zoom. So Zoom's kind of a requirement there, um, doing discovery sessions and whatnot, but LinkedIn and Instagram are my two favorite places to hang out. So, um, I really love LinkedIn because I can focus on the, like go straight to business type thing. Um, it's not as, I don't know. Like I, I can almost cut to the chase, especially since finances can be a taboo subject. They're looking to improve when they are on LinkedIn. So, and then Instagram's just fun. Awesome. I'll jump in. First of all, Ms. Cheka, thank you so much for having me. I am always blessed and grateful for you to consider me anytime you do anything. And yes, it's been a long time, 20 plus years, throwback days. Uh, you know, and I just think, you know, obviously, uh, your hustle really begins from like your grind from college and the things that you do and the way that you network and how you put yourself out there. And I've always had that spirit of entrepreneurship. That's really where it came from, um, trying to be an entrepreneur in different jobs, right? You end up being an entrepreneur, but you're just out there trying to figure it out. And I love that. Um, I love the idea of just dabbling into different things, but dabble doesn't necessarily mean you become a master of anything, but that's a whole nother conversation. Uh, I do use Zoom a lot. Um, obviously, and I think that 2020, the events that happened in 2020, obviously provided that opportunity to allow you to connect and expand your network in a greater sense. Um, so I do like Zoom. I also like touch points with people. Like I'm a big, like, let's get out there. Let's meet people. Like, let's have touch points. And to me, that's when the most authentic conversations can happen. I think sometimes, um, yes, you can go ahead and network on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, but uh, it, they take longer to craft and cultivate that relationship, right? Because you're really trying to feel each other out. A lot of times people are hiding behind their words and it's like, well, are we even going to get along? Because I think the, the more you master something, you get to pick and choose who you actually want to work with. Right? You get to pick and choose who you want to do life with. And for me, that's a little bit more challenging if people are hiding behind their words for a period of time and then you're getting to a place where you can actually have a video. But um, for sure, the, the social, um, social networking uh, platforms do allow you to expand your networking. There's definitely, um, there's definitely a lot of uh, potential there. So I think if that's your thing, go for it. But you find your thing and whatever your thing is, whether that's LinkedIn or in-person or Zoom, and you go for it. And if that's where you feel you're most authentic uh, and it, it works for you, then I think you could uh, find a great uh, leveraging points there. So, yeah. Having us on today, you know, definitely privileged to be around other women. And so like for me right now, this is networking. Because I'm like, oh, there's two other women that I don't know that are now in my network by default. So, um, and hopefully there's not too much feedback. Am I good? Okay, awesome. Thanks, Luz. So, yeah, so I use um, mostly Instagram and Facebook because I have Facebook groups and I, I kind of had a, an aha moment. So really, I am a personal introvert, believe it or not, but I'm a professional, professional extrovert because I have to because of my business. Like in my business, I can't be an introvert, but I would just rather sit on the beach and read a book by myself. And I'm very happy, right? But in, in, the, in our business, we have a people business. So you can't be an introvert when you have a people business. Right? But um, what I realized from one of my mentors is that in, a, in 
I know women who know women. So, I mean, I'm just talking about women because networking with other women. And I know people who know other people. And so I have to network and be in those networks. So I'll do like Facebook groups a lot and, you know, kind of intertwine myself in there, meet other people. And it's, it's, and I'm, I'm like, lose. it's, it's zooming. Like I'm in St. Louis right now because at some point we got to get back out. We got to have some touch points with people because I, I can develop a relationship with you via zoom but there's nothing like sitting across the table even if you're in a mask behind you know in front of somebody because they feel like that you know that energy so you know when i have the opportunity to do so i do get in front of people but networking groups um what i've learned by default the real big ones you can get lost the smaller ones you can have a better intimate you know relationships and then instagram and you know posting stories like i didn't realize like people really looked at like really, really look at it. And I guess there's the algorithm. So I'm learning all of those things by default. But what was another aha moment is I did a post about, you know, I helped another woman make money while she was sleeping. And the next story after that was, oh yeah, and I helped guys too. And I got an inbox from that one. <laughs> and it was one of my old colleagues. He said, so what is it that you actually do? So I'm like, okay, so people are paying attention. So you have to do those things. And because they want to know people, I mean, like right now, because we are in a different world, people are paying attention to what you are, you know, what you are doing. So for me personally, right now, it's really just Instagram and the Facebook groups, using the groups, even though I honestly, I like, I hate posting, but I know I have to do it, right? <laughs> I know that people probably go, when I said that, you know, personal introvert, everybody's like, I really am. But, you know, but I know this is how you still stay connected with people.